Hey guys, this is Charlie from Allcoin Bus, and today we will talk about Quantstamp. As you may know, we have talked about them several times earlier on this channel, but this time we will go a little bit deeper, a little bit more into technical details. We will talk about what Quantstamp is, what it consists of, and why it is needed. We will also go through the roadmap and what is up and coming in 2018. But first, can someone just please tell me what happened to their webpage? It used to look pretty good ish, but now it just looks like an alpha version of an account company. Yeah. Well, we're not here to judge their web design skills, we're here to look at the project, so let's get straight into it. So, what is Quantstamp? Well, in short, Quantstamp is a software that currently can check Ethereum smart contracts for different faults and bugs in a somewhat automatic way. In their own words, they are a security auditing protocol. So why is it needed? Well, you may have heard that Ethereum is a safe platform that is practically immune to hacking. And in a sense that is true, but the smart contracts upon the blockchain are written by people. And people, they are stupid. So there will always be bugs and it doesn't help that the contracts on the Ethereum blockchain is written in a language that no one really knows. Solidity. And the biggest hack to this day is the DAO attack, where somewhat $55 million were lost. So you cannot really argue against the functionality that Quantstamp is providing. And as they mentioned in their white paper, the number of smart contracts on the Ethereum platform increased from 500,000 to 2 million between June and October 2017. And it's not hard to see that this should have an exponential growth as the blockchain technology becomes more adapted. And also, it's not hard to see that any contract that manages pretty much any asset should also have a security auditing. Now, you may think that this is quite narrow by Quantstamp to only target the Ethereum blockchain, since it's at least a possibility that some blockchain platforms will die when other more advanced technologies emerges. But as hopefully will become clear in this video, the fundamentals of Quantstamp, of the Quantstamp protocol, are actually platform agnostic and could be applied to any blockchain. But the first step of Quantstamp is to implement it in Ethereum in a sort of proof of concept manner and perhaps even be implemented in the platform itself. And since Ethereum is by far the most widely used blockchain token platform today, the choice is quite obvious. So how does this work? Well, first of all, the Quantstamp network is run upon the Ethereum platform. And the goal of Quantstamp is to find bugs in existing smart contracts and they want to do this as automa automatically as possible. But today the platform isn't fully capable of doing this, so for now the protocol consists of two parts. The first one, as they say here, is an automated and upgradable verification system that checks solidity programs. And the second one is an automated bounty payout system that rewards human participants for finding errors in smart contracts. And the purpose of this system is to bridge the gap while moving towards the goal of full automation. And there are a few actors on the Quantstamp network that we can read about in the white paper, but we take them in a different order. And first of all, we have these contract creators, who simply are the ones who have developed the smart contract and want them audited. And along with them publishing the contract, they also send the current price of the auditing in QSP, which are the Quantstamp protocol token. And connected to this, we also have the contract users, which are the ones who will have access to the final auditing results. And then we also have these voters. So the Quantstamp protocol is built in a modular and, as I mentioned before, upgradable way. But in order to apply these upgrades, there is an inherent governance protocol, where the voters are actually the token holders. And in this way, the power always resides at the users or holders of the token. Moving on to the contributors, and these are most often security experts that contribute with auditing software. And for this work, they will receive Quantsum tokens. And also, there is a risk that bad actors can publish bad auditing code, so these contributors has to be voted in. And this auditing software, provided by the contributors, often requires a lot of computational power in order to actually find these bugs and code errors. And this computational power is provided by the validators. And for this they are also, of course, rewarded in Quantstamp tokens. So the contributors are rewarded for their time and expertise, while the validators are rewarded for the electricity they are consuming by providing the computational power. And then we also have the bug finders. And these ones are actually anyone that is willing to look for bugs in an audible smart contract. So when the contract creator publishes the contract on the Quantstamp network, he or she also adds the bounty amount and a deadline for when the bounty isn't valid anymore. So if a bound bug finder finds a bug and it is approved, he or she will be rewarded with this bounty amount. So let's take an example and we have this lovely image. 
So you as a developer create a smart contract and since you don't want to fuck up anything, you decide to audit it with Quantstamp. And you send your transaction with Quantstamp token directly from your wallet, including the smart contract source code in the data field of the transaction. And in this way, your auditing process is recorded upon the Ethereum blockchain, which ensures that you as a Quantstamp customer can feel secure that the money you put into the, this audit will eventually provide some result. So when your transaction is validated on the Ethereum blockchain, the Quantstamp validators starts working on the smart contracts and tries to find bugs in it. And now it gets a bit technical, so we'll actually skip this part, and just say that when the validators have reached consensus upon the results, they append this back onto the Ethereum blockchain, and, it, and you as the developer is notified that the process is finished. Worth mentioning is also that this result can be chosen to be either private or public. So during this process there is also the possibility for bounty hunters or bug finders to submit different issues with your smart contracts. And if someone finds a bug, he or she is rewarded with the bounty amount that is specified in the initial transaction from you as the developer. And also worth noting is that even though the Quantstamp provides a sophisticated method for distributed debugging, it doesn't and probably cannot ever guarantee a flawless and bug-free code. That's just practically impossible to achieve. Now, I believe that's enough about how the Quantum platform works, and let's look at their team for a moment. And they're actually also included in the white paper. So first of all, we have the two co-founders, Steven Stewart, the current CTO, and Richard Ma, the current CEO. So Steven have graduated from University of Waterloo and has been a PhD candidate before he dropped off to work with Qualcomm full time. And in this candidate, he worked with software verification tools and solvers using distributed computing and GPUs. And he has also worked for five years at the Canadian Cryptologic Agency in the Department of National Defense. So this is actually quite an impressive resume. And then we have Richard Ma, who is not related to the Alibaba CEO Jack Ma. And Richard has previously worked as an algorithmic portfolio manager and worked with programming algorithmic trading software, including a severe amount of unit testing, which in a way is exactly what Quantum is doing. And then we also have these two founding team members, Vajou Montagami and Ed Silkowski, with PhD competence in very relevant areas. But looking at their web page, we can see that now, not even a year later from them publishing their white paper, their team has grown to about 20 members and all of the four founding team members are still there. And also, they have a good amount of advisors, but of course the question is, do these advisors have any competence? And we can take a look at this guy, Evan Chang, he's not much, just the director of engineering at Facebook. Moving on. And also, looking a bit further down, we can see their supporters, with the one of course catching my eyes, Y Combinator. And Y Combinator is one of the world's largest incubators with a track record of companies such as Airbnb, Dropbox, Reddit, Twitch, just to name a few. So for them to support Quantstamp, that's actually quite big. So up next is the potential competitors for Quantstamp. And I've been researching this for a while and I haven't really been able to find any direct competitor. There are some products that are trying to simplify the creation of smart contracts such as Agrello, Either Party and so on. But I have a hard time seeing that these projects being able to achieve the same level of sophistication when it comes to the testing tools. They will surely be great at what they do, but since Quantstamp is only targeting auditing, it will be hard to compete with them unless you do the same thing. And then we also have a somewhat similar project called Hacken, and their goal is to provide a marketplace for so-called white hat hackers, which are the good kind of hackers, for cybersecurity auditing. The major difference between these two projects that I see is that Quantstamp is aiming to become an automatic service for smart contracts, while Hacking on the other side isn't automatic, but also not bound to the blockchain, so they can target any cybersecurity problem. So I'm not necessarily seeing these two as competitors. And then lastly, of course, we have these auditing firms such as Solidified, and they seem to think that the technologies such as Quantstamp are good solutions to the problems of the auditing space, but they also say that these technologies for automated platforms are about three to five years away until they are usable. However, personally, I'm doubtful that this is actually the case, and I think that we could see Quantstamp active in a much shorter time span. And speaking of time spans, let's have a look at the roadmap for Quantstamp. And they define a pretty clear way ahead in their white paper. So in 2017, it was a lot of manual work and what it seems proof of concept. And towards the end of the year, some implementation was in action, such as the validation nodes and so on. And according to this, from now on, from April, it should be a lot of testing until the mainnet launch in August this year. 
However, looking at the grammar used in the roadmap, it looks like it hasn't been updated since October-November of 2017. And also, looking at this roadmap thread, Quantstamp asked me anything, they say that the roadmap needs to be revisited. So I guess we just have to wait and see what they have in store for the future and where they actually are right now. We don't know. So to round this video of what's my verdict of Quantstamp, what's my thoughts? And well, I think that it's most certainly have an incredible use case and I wouldn't be surprised to see a future where it's almost a requirement to have a valid security audit on your contracts in order, in order to even be taken seriously. And as I said before, I haven't been able to find any real competitor to Quantstamp, so they have a real advantage of being the first movers. I do, however, see that they could be moving a bit faster to getting the product out on the market in order to get market shares on the other platforms beyond Ethereum. But at the same time, I think the team is really incredible and they must have been thinking about this. I could see them reasoning that these platforms are still very young and not adopted by the larger crowd yet, so there is no need to rush it. But if this was the case, I would like to see them communicating this through their channels. And as per usual with this analysis, I'm incredibly excited to see what the future holds and I'm very much looking forward to seeing their roadmap updates. But for now, I guess that's the only two cents I have. And that's actually all the sense I have for today. So if you like this video, I would love it if you hit the like button down below. And of course, to subscribe to us here on YouTube. And we're also on Twitter under Altcoin IO, And Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, and so on. And I will leave the links to all of them in the description below. Until the next time, guys, have a good one.